And now I present to you James P. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Uh, Helder Gandra of uh, Indian Clubs Portugal. I want to give a shout out to him. Um, Do they read the newsletter? None of them read the newsletter. Thank you. Why do some compact fluorescent lamps come with a warning not to use them in enclosed fixtures when it's okay to use equivalent incandescent bulbs, yeah, you know, which burn much harder? Harder, yeah, you're right. Also, about why that. do CFLs have a coiled shape? Some, some of them are straight, but most of them are coiled. Well, well, there's gas inside. You, you, you have to be very careful not to break them la, 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 la. and breathe the vapors in. Yeah. Mercury. There, there's mercury in there. The life of CFLs may be reduced when operated at higher than usual temperatures. So the problem is not overheating the fixture it's overheating the CFL itself. Most CFLs are constructed in long, thin tubes to generate the most light using the least power. But as they must fit into fixtures designed for incandescent bulbs, manufacturers wind the tubes into a spiral or fold them back onto themselves several times. Yeah, and guess what? The CFLs, compact fluorescent bulbs, are not lasting as long as they did when they first came out. And I am proof of that. So uh, now the, the way to go is the LED. They're, they're, they're kind of expensive right now. They're, the price is starting to go down because more companies are making them, but they're still pricey. But they're great. You can't beat them. It, LED is what is going to take over across the board. Somebody's at the door. Yeah, I know. The fucking cats are like women. They like to sabotage this show. And the same thing happened, I think, last well, Saturday. The fucking in. cat meowed outside. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if it's there. And it's going to it's gonna mess up the fucking <laughs> flags, like always. Donald Trump. Come on, you piece of shit. After weeks of bristling at rising challengers, has again seized center stage in the Republican nomination race, unleashing a torrent of personal and sometimes profane attacks that forced his rivals to respond and underscored his continued dominance. Good as long as long as he attacks Republicans, he wouldn't dare debate Bernie Sanders because Bernie will kick his ass. Trump's latest attention-grabbing comments came at a rally in northwestern Iowa late on Thursday. He called former technology executive Carly Friarina, Carly, whatever the hell her name is and said Marco Rubio was weak like a baby. Well, he looks like a baby. He's got a baby face. Carly Fiorina is a horse face. He also accused retired surgeon Ben Carson of lying about his violent childhood. He, that's not the only thing Ben Carson lied about. And having a pathological disease. Uh, With no cure. <laughs> well, he wasn't. Trump wasn't really lying about his opponents, which he said was like being a child molester. Well, that was stupid. Well, he did want to hit his mother in the head with a hammer. Well, that's not child. Mo that's not being no, a pedophile. That's pathological, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It was his mother like a real nag, dom domineering, bossy nag? Or? We don't know what she was, but that you don't hit your mother 
in the head with a hammer. Just like you don't go trying to stab a friend with a knife. And a belt buckle saves him. No, you don't do that. You you do something more. Normal mild. person doesn't do those things. You do things. something mild, like like strangle him, wring his neck with your bare hands. Oh God! Something mild. That it might be chiropractic adjustment. You know, it might it might be therapeutic. How stupid are the people of Iowa? Trump said, marveling that Carson is polling nearly as well. <coughs> excuse me, as he is, despite providing autobiographical details that Trump says don't make sense. Well, they are stupid if, they, if they're backing Carson. Didn't you see the, uh, the, uh, the post up there where uh, they say Carson didn't say it, but the, what is said is true. Uh, they were, uh, Carson, his mother and everything were on food stamps, they were on Section 8 re rental assistance. And then he denied he said, it. And, no, then he says he th he never got anything from the government. Fucking liar. <laughs> everything was done on his own. Well, he doesn't want, he doesn't want any, any, any uh, black people to get anything now. No. Only he was allowed to get assistance. Bingo, that's how Republicans are. See, they can't. Hey, Rush Limbaugh used you see, uh, uh, unemployment insurance. See and now he rails against it. You see, they can take uh, corporate welfare subsidies from the taxpayer, but they're not moochers. No. If you're if the middle class or the poor does it, you're moochers. Exactly. So, if you want to pick one word for the right wing, hypocrisy would. And greed, of course. Those two words would be perfect. How stupid are the people of the country to believe this crap? Such comments could end presidential dreams for most candidates, but yet for months Trump has defied the traditional rules of politics and continued to lead the pack. His endurance comes much to the chagrin of Republican leaders who can't believe that a billionaire reality television star has built such a dedicated following and dominated the polls for so many months. There are also worries about <coughs> the direction in which Trump is leading the party on immigration and other issues. We have a marketing problem. Florida Republican Party Chairman Blaze Ingoglia told party colleagues at a two-day conference in Orlando Blaze? Blaze that heard from Trump and Carson last Friday. Ingoglia said Republicans need to be smart when it comes to elections. <laughs> well, they're not smart when it comes to elections. They, 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 they cheat. It's the only way they can win. That's the way they win. Yeah. Gerrymandering is um, is probably the uh, the backbone and the hallmark of their cheating schemes, right? Yeah. We need a lot more vision and a lot less vitriol in our own primary. Vision? Yeah, the vision of the poor being slaves. A thousand points of life. A thousand that slaves. That was a great vision, wasn't it? And what I don't mean? know what it had meant. I don't know what it ever did, but a thousand points of light. Maybe it meant he wanted to be an astronomer. Maybe he just liked to look at the sky at night. Well, those are stars, then. A thousand stars. A thousand stars in the sky. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't bring the Jews harp, so I can't, I can't join you in uh, country music. Carson responded to Trump's attack. <laughs> at a cane campaign stop in Greenville, South Carolina, and called on his rival to put aside politics of personal destruction. Personal destruction. And deal with the real issues. Real tissues? I'm hopeful that at some point we reach a level of maturity so that we can actually deal with the issues that are facing us right now, and we can stop getting into the mud, Carson said.
if there was any question whether Trump meant what he said Thursday night. Confirmation came Friday morning in a video posted on Instagram that showed a brief clip of Carson's biographical claims being contradicted by a childhood friend. Along with his message, violent criminal. Hey, a Republican's pain is my pleasure. Or a pathological liar. We don't need either as president. No, no, hell no. Well, now, now the um, the the beacon of of truth of the of the Republican Party, Donald Trump, has been taking uh, CPAC money. Yeah, and he, and he claims to be. Hey, look, any. Anybody who brags that they're the master of making the deal, the deal, the deal, the deal, and they're and they're multi-billionaires that know how to make the deal and get their way all the time, they're not going to use their money if they can help it for anything. They're going to use other people's money. But you know he. Um, I'm sure he said, well, the others are taking it. I might as well take it, too. But knowing Trump, he probably told them, all right, you want to donate to my campaign? I'm not going to I'm not gonna uh, do what you yeah, say. I'm going to do what I want. All right, CPAC money. But that means if that's just uh, from the, uh, the PACs and not his PAC, they can do anything they want. They can make videos. They can do this. Yeah. But they're not supposed to coordinate with the candidate. In other words, the candidate doesn't get that money. That's the money of whatever the pack is. And they can do whatever they want with it in favor of a particular candidate. In other words... But it's not Trumpy's money. In other words, like when John McCain and the, 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 the uh, airhead Palin was running, and Sarah Palin spent like over a hundred thousand on a new wardrobe. If they would have won the election of McCain's money, that wasn't that most likely wasn't CPAC money. Well, that was before the law, the new law. Ah. Okay, so we don't know. That okay. could have been commingled money. We don't know. Because the CPAC law is only uh, two or three years old. Oh, okay. Other candidates quickly chimed in on Friday. Rubio claimed he didn't know the details of Trump's comments, but he com complimented Iowa Republicans. Oh, it's no, it's not important. He has a, he looks like a baby. So what? Stick to the important issues. Well, his important issue is to put more money into the military to become this, be the strongest military on the face of the earth. Yeah, what did Reagan used so to say? So we can go into Iraq and all these countries and never win another war. Re 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 Reagan used to say, peace through strength. That's correct. Peace through strength. That means you, you, you become the big bully of the world. And he brought, well, that's the neocons. That's what they want. The big bully they want us to be so strong that there will be no one on the planet who will ever pick a fight with us. But guess what? Back after World War II, when the United States was the only ones with the atom bombs, yeah. people picked fights with us. We had the Korean War. Okay? Which we didn't Then win. the Russians got the, the uh, uh, hydrogen bomb. Right, that was the okay. uh, the Cold they War. Weren't afraid of us. The Cold War started. Nikita Khrushchev. Yeah. Uh, they were, no one was ever afraid of the United States when they were the we were the only ones with the bomb. Well, the United so States did not win Vietnam or Korea. The last war the United States won was World War Two. Yeah. So all these all and that's from your Bible, my so friend. So all these flag waving tea baggers that keep on saying. Uh, you know, all the all, they they blurt out all these phony patriotic statements about um, United States uh, needs to defend 
our freedom. The military ha needs to protect and defend our freedom. Well, our borders are, are not threatened by invasion. All these wars are wars for profit. War profiteering. Hey, speaking of uh, uh, neo, uh, crazy neocons, Senator Lindsey Graham wants uh, the United States to uh, to attack uh, the Russian military in He's Syria. He's a warmonger. He's like John McCain. He's a warmonger. He, he actually thinks, yeah, and you know, and Billy Morrow, Billy Morrow thinks this too. They actually think that the United States can kick Putin's ass. I don't think so. You know, war is not a matter of kicking somebody's ass. <clears throat> you know. War has consequences. And with Russia and it's usually for the innocent. And, and and if you antagonize, if you if you if you make enemies, if you attack Russia and or China, there are the consequences are catastrophic. Well, not with China. But when China and Russia get together as prophesied, then you got a problem because then you're gonna have a two hundred million man army. Well, don't don't okay. underestimate China. They they have a space. Um, they have a space. China shuttle. only spends something over like twenty billion dollars on its military every year. They just have a huge economy. Exactly. And they have manpower. And, who, and, and why do they have such a huge economy? Because the United States made Thank it that way. Thank you. Outsourcing. Thank you. But but they have they have the uh, the uh, manpower army. Oh yeah. But I'm saying, but um, but there are no slouches when it comes to science either. They have a space program. Um, um, Russia, on the other hand, it would be a huge mistake, Lindsey Graham, if that if you carried, if your wish came true. So. But the point of it is that uh, the next war will involve nuclear weapons. The United States has like the seventeen thousand. More than any on the in the world. I heard. I heard gonna, Russia was yet they're going to lose. I heard Russia world was war. hiding okay. the true amount of warheads that they have. I heard. I hear they have more than us. No, they never had. What are you? What are you like, Bill Morrow? You know, Yankee Doodle Dandy, American Number One. How do you know what Putin? What Putin has? Putin is not as big as you think he is. He's they big. Never were. He's big. They never were when they were the Soviet Union. Oh, God. Jeez, man. Next you're going to say technologically they're not so great. Uh, sure. I would say that. However, the United States, uh, we don't want to pay for technology anymore. You see what they do with NASA. They cut the knees off. You know, a, um, a friend of mine from Nevada who was a career military person who was over in, in Iraq says that the, um, the Russian AK-47 is by far the finest military automatic weapon that beats any American weapon. Well, the then you have the MiG, the highest flying fixed wing aircraft, the MiG, uh, what is it, MiG 25 Fox Bad. You got, you got, believe me, Ru Russia's no slouch when it comes to uh, their, their military ability. A and they tested the Green Beret Army Rangers against the, uh, the Russian special. Uh, Forces, uh, Speznak, I think they're called. I, I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but and and they got they were they were beat. The, the Russians uh, special forces were superior to the American special forces. Well, the point of all of that is, right now, the United States has the biggest, the greatest uh, army of all time. Military. Yeah, sure. Okay of all time and it spends 600 and it's spending this year 607 billion dollars for it that's 10 times that's more than the 10 other countries on the face of the earth and this includes the weapons that they they're pissing 
money now, away on. When you include that, you're talking about one point three trillion dollars. Yeah. Like okay. like like the planes that can't be used. All of that shit. All that shit. What about all the inventory that has to be replaced? Because uh, ISIS got them all from Iraq. Oh, geez. All the it, military isn't it amazing how trucks they, and all that it, shit. Isn't, tanks. It, isn't it amazing how okay. the enemy is, is armed by the United States? And isn't it amazing that they only are, they're about 30,000 people only? ISIS. Okay. Well, because they deal in uh, their 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 way of warfare is terrorism and uh, guerrilla. Yeah, they did it in war. France yesterday. Yeah. And they were using client. What? What? what uh, how do you pronounce that? The, the other. Uh, uh, they were guns, using AK forty seven or something. Yeah, they were the using Russian. Russian uh, yeah. But but they they I hear France has um, very laxed borders. It wasn't borders. They were at a concert and a soccer game and a restaurant. It was a coordinated attack. But they... Killed got, 129. But they got into France. Well, yeah, they're in France. It's probably a sleeper cell. There's probably sleeper cells in the United States. <coughs> no? It was a soccer game, right? Soccer game was <coughs> be, between uh, France and Germany. Yeah. <coughs> well, that's why they mentioned Germany's name. I think the Iowa voters are some of the nicest, most informed voters in the country, Rubio said. <laughs> Jeb Bush, campaigning in Franklin, New Hampshire, before traveling to Orlando, called Cars Carson the nicest guy. I think personal attacks aren't going to cut it. Yeah, because they're trying to they're trying to isolate Donald Trump as uh, being very mean spirited. Are you kidding me? They're, they're trying. They to, want to get Romney into the, the into the fold. They want to get. They want. Jesus they want Christ, to. Uh, yeah, because that clown bus is not shrinking. Yeah. That Republican clown bus. There, but they're. Um, I guess they don't care if if they're pissing away all this money on the campaign, but. Uh, they, they they seem to, like a wolf pack, they seem to be targeting Donald Trump, the businessman, Donald Trump. They they they, they, they don't like him in this uh, campaign because he's going right for their jugular veins. Regarding Trump's comments about Iowa voters, Bush said, he better go back to the marketing department on that one. Look, I don't get why he says what he says. Can't help you on that. Fiorina posted a snarky response on Facebook that said... She has a snarky face anyway. <laughs> All the money in the world won't make you as smart as Ben Carson. What? What? <laughs> ben Carson oh. is, is smart if he's doing surgery. That doesn't, that's a skill. <laughs> you don't have to be smart to have a skill. Oh, you know, that's true. I know, I know, ah. people, I know people that are, that do auto body and, there you go. and automobile mechanics, uh, automotive engineers, they call them now, I think, and that are, that don't know shit about anything except what they do for a living. That's correct. Same thing with carpentry, same thing with, uh, with plumbers, yeah, they, they, uh, I mean, I'm not saying all of them, but I'm saying there are people who just know what they know. Even accountants that just know accounting. A skill has nothing to do with intelligence. Look at, look at the, the idiot savants that can, uh, you know, do music or, or mathematics. That's Dustin Hoffman in the in the Rain, the Rain Man. Man. Okay? He was a, yeah, he was able to count cards at a blackjack table. Yeah, and there you go. I mean, they, they, that's a skill. That has nothing to do with smarts or intelligence or anything. Smarts like that. and uh, smarts, intelligence um, can also uh, exist without common sense. Now, if you put those, well, you better put them all together. If you put them together. Yeah. I mean, I mean, intelligence and smarts 
is the ability to memorize facts and retrieve them when when needed but but uh, when uh, you uh, or discover facts well, that's How do you a, think we that's an advanced smart person well who can discover that's great smart intelligence etc you know like leonardo da vinci you know people like that uh, um but he wasn't smart enough to protect his goddamn painting, was he? Oh, the Mona Lisa? No, the uh, the uh, Jesus at the Last Supper. Oh yeah, Mary Magdalene was in because the Because of the goddamn uh, mixture of oil or whatever that he... he oh, he oh, you mean yeah. the, the quality of the painting? The quality of the painting, it's crap. It's falling apart, it's, you know. Yeah, you also can't, you can't have it in the sun. Well, it has nothing to do with the sun. It has to do with what he did. Anyway, last. besides that, um, there are people who can retrieve, memorize facts, but have that lack common sense. Computer can do that. <coughs> That's not intelligence. Yeah. Like William uh, Bill, uh, William Morrow, our voice voiceover artist. I've seen him play Trivial Pursuit. He had the answers like in a split second, uh -huh. but to try to debate him and get him to accept the grim reality of things how they are and get him to accept the fact that officialdom that the, that the mainstream networks are all scripted because the first thing an intelligent person needs is an open mind yeah an open mind hey. You saw you saw that banner with Frank Zapp, the late Frank Zappa, saying the, the, the human brain, the mind is like uh, an umbrella. It, it it doesn't. I guess what did he say? It doesn't improve until you it's opened. That's good. It doesn't do it doesn't do anything for you until. This has been a Mega Life 21 production. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.